In this video, we're going to talk about the Maya panels. Panels inside of Maya are a way of splitting up your workspace into different quadrants, and each one of the panels that you see within those quadrants become an editor, a list of items, um, a creation window. There's lots of different panels inside of Maya, and I'll give you kind of an overview of how to first of all customize those through the interface but then uh, provide you a little more streamlined way of doing that uh, using marking menus or a combination of marking menus the hot box as well as the panel menus so what we're sitting in here is the perspective camera and the perspective camera happens to be a panel because it's docked inside the main Maya window if I bring up the toolbox the way we looked at in the last video from the hot box you can see that there is a list of different preset arrangements of the panels over inside the toolbox uh, to the left here. If I hold my cursor over it, you can see that there's a menu that comes up on each one of these buttons. So there is also a right mouse button click that corresponds to each one of these. Notice this little carrot uh, or this little pull down here at the bottom has a corresponding version of that as well. So if I go to my perspective view, uh, that's my perspective view panel. If I want to split my interface up into four different panels, there's a button here that does that. And notice down here at the bottom, this button now becomes four buttons to correspond to the panels that you see in the interface. So if I want my top left view to be something other than my top, really quickly we can make it become the outliner. Of course, all of these are reconfigurable in terms of the size so we can change those uh, however we like we can save those as presets and this is just a really nice way of splitting up and arranging or organizing your workspace uh, we can also set this to uh, say a three up view and notice that my button down here at the bottom corresponds to that and becomes the same thing so that is one way of, of customizing these if we right mouse button click within this or, or excuse me left mouse button click within this you can see that uh, any of these can become a different panel if we were in the panel itself there's also a set of menus over to the right that correspond to the same things so if I want this to be my outliner that panel menu shows up in all of the different panel panels inside of Maya and allows you to change that of course we also have easy access to the panel editor from within the panel menu as well so there's a little a little bit of redundancy but essentially it comes down to a lot of convenience and gives you access to these panels wherever you happen to be I also mentioned in the hotbox video that there is a corresponding menu to the panel menu inside the hotbox so from within the interface if you didn't want the toolbox to be displayed how would you actually split the interface up? Well, at the top of the quadrant, uh, or the top of the hot box, there's a quadrant to the north that allows you to do just that. So if I want my perspective outliner to come up, all I have to do is hold that down and swipe downwards, and I get that arrangement that I've created. One thing to note is under the settings and preferences, there is a marking menu editor that allows you to customize that layout that you see inside the interface. So if you want to change any of these, it's really easy to do. So let's say I've split my windows up or my panels up into a perspective view and a graph editor. What if I want to change this lower panel? Well, in some of the panels they have options to switch those to different to different views. But in this case, I want to just change this to say my hypershade. And that's not one of the options within the convenient buttons. So all I have to do is pull up my hotbox, go down to the south quadrant, and swipe to the left. So really quickly I can set this to be a different panel. If I want another outliner, I can do that. If I want my perspective view or two perspective views that's really easy to do as well one other thing too if I want to zoom in and out of any of these panels all I have to do is hold the cursor over the panel and hit the space bar so let's say I have my arrangement to a three split view and I've got my hypershade on the top my render view on the lower left and my perspective on the lower right if I want to get into my render view and make this full screen all I have to do is hover my cursor over that view or the, over that panel and tap the space bar one time. So just like that, if I tap it again, I get back to my split view, hold it over to my perspective view, and I jump into that panel. So that hopefully gives you a nice overview of how you can really quickly maneuver between the different panels that Maya offers and jump in and out of different editors and, and different panels that you might happen to need either full screen or segmented out inside of your interface. So that is the end of an the overview of the Maya interface and hope you guys enjoyed it.